we uh, we recently published this uh, systematic review on uh, on the little the levels of cytokines in migraine patients during and outside attacks um and the the reason behind this uh, this review was that uh, neurogenic inflammation has been uh, suggested to be involved in migraine pathophysiology for decades, and uh, cytokine levels has been used as a biomarker for like an inflammatory biomarkers um, in these migraine patients, um, and both um, like. Currently, uh, all different kind of uh, sample sources has been used, including blood samples, saliva, um, CSF, and urine. And um, to understand the effect of cytokines or perhaps inflammation in migraine, we would have to look at the, the two different aspects of cytokines. So uh, cytokines can be subdivided into like the anti-inflammatory cytokines and then the pro-inflammatory cytokines. And uh, if we focus on the anti-inflammatory cytokines to begin with, I would uh, what we found was that... Um, it was the interleukine 4 and the interleukine 10 cytokines that had been investigated the most um, and like generally with these anti-inflammatory cytokines. And uh, what we found was that um, outside of attacks, it seems that the interleukine 10 is uh, it's decreased um, and perhaps it might be increased as well uh, during an attack. But there was like... Um, Contra contradicting findings in regard to that specifically. And if you look at the interleukin-4 receptors, um, it was it was overall, it seemed to be, uh, again, contradicting. So some of the res results were increased. Some um, said it was unchanged. So based on that, we didn't want to like come with a conclusion specifically on the interleukin-4s. Um, but if we... Um, if you look into uh, to interleukin ten again, there was two studies that found like this increase um, during an attack, um, and uh, the the authors proposed or suggested um, that this could be like an anti nociceptive kind of response uh, to uh, to a release of pro inflammatory cytokines during an attack. So it's like yeah, kind of responding to uh, to the 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 high amount of uh, pro inflammatory cytokines, um, whereas the um, like the decrease in uh, in interleukin 10 was suggested to be like um, a cause of a persistent but insufficient regulation of the pro-inflammatory cytokines as well. Um, so that was like the the anti-inflammatory cytokine part. If we then go to the pro-inflammatory cytokines, I believe it was um, IL, like the interleukin 1 beta and then interleukin 6 and TNF alpha that had been investigated um, the most. And uh, if you look into uh, specifically these uh, cytokine levels, it seems that um, outside an attack, both interleukin-6 and the TNF-alpha are, are increased, um, but interleukin-1-beta, like, they couldn't find any changes. It was, again, contradicting. Um, and then if you go into the specific, um, like an attack itself and look into the numbers, there was, uh, it seems to be like an increase of most like uh, most cytokines, including the interleukin 1 beta, interleukin 6, TNF alpha, um, interferon gamma, and then CCL5 were the ones showing increased levels. Um, but again, there was more than 10 other different cytokines that has been investigated, but it's lacking data, so it's it, we can't really say much uh, about specifically these cytokine levels. Um, but generally, um, if you have to like look into the levels or like the causes of the levels, one would think um, that the increased um, levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines specifically might be due to an, uh, an activation of the trigeminal vascular system, which then subsequently um, caused a release of uh, CGRP, which subsequently caused the granulation of, uh, of the mast cells. So this could be the, the cause of these um, this increase that we see during an attack, which is altered, like the levels are altered throughout the, the attack itself based on two other studies. Um, but um, yeah, so that's like during an attack. And the cause of uh, of an increased level of, uh, of pro-inflammatory cytokines outside an attack um, has been suggested to be some kind of like persistent sterile inflammation that could occur. But overall, based on both anti-inflammatory and the, the pro inflammatory cytokines, we would say that it seems there like it seems to be ultra levels of both cytokines, um, both types of cytokines. But um, again, there are so many studies that have different methodologies, so it's not it's not comparable. So our future studies should focus on like refined methodology and uh, and look like further into the specific cytokines that seems to be uh, to be increased.